So we're back with another one of these videos looking at some of my favorite Caribbean artists and today we're looking at architect and painter John Noel Lewis. He's not the easiest person to find information on and I've been looking for years but regardless he's one of my favorites. I managed though to get my hands on one of his books called Kalani where he documents Tall Myers Castle through sketches and writing. I'm not going to focus too much on the literature from the book but really just show you a few of these sketches that he's done and if it's one thing I really appreciate about these sketches is that he finds a balance between diagramming, detailing and artistic interpretation. The line work is something that really fascinates me, how he's able to really find a balance between his line weights and maybe that's more of me thinking with my architecture brain but it really is something magnificent. But the real reason I fell in love with John is because of his watercolor paintings. If you've never seen any of his paintings, I'd really encourage you to go to the National Museum and Art Gallery of Trinidad and Tobago when they reopen to really see them for yourself in real life. Sadly, I wasn't able to go to the museum to get any of the images of the works that they have here. So you're gonna have to settle for these that I found online. His watercolor paintings often display strong pen and ink line work which can sometimes make the paintings feel a bit cartoonish, but it also plays into that vintage feel that we tend to associate with older Caribbean paintings. I, for one, am all for the pen and ink in the works. It brings a lot of detail to the pieces, and I think it adds an elegance to the paintings. Hopefully when the National Museum reopens, I'll be able to go more in depth into his work and take some pictures of the ones that they have there. But for now, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you in the next video.